Oh, really? It's not that insane. Uh, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know, dude. That looks, you, you know, that, 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 that looks pretty fucking insane to me. So guys, what is up? We are back. Another episode of Ark Survival Evolved where we are going over some fun mods. We still have our stuff from the last mod episode. If you haven't checked that out, make sure to check it out. We went over some Star Wars stuff, some lightsabers, some pretty cool stuff. But today, we got something even cooler potentially. I think you guys are going to like it. So uh, to begin with, there's something you have to craft. This, this mod is known as the God Mod, I think. Uh, it's like Joanne's uh, Dragon God Mod. Kind of a little bit of a tongue twister there. So once you download the mod, uh, currently, I'll talk about that in a little bit, but there's one item that you craft. The God Shine. Make an offering to the Dragon God if you want to craft it up. 15 metal, 15 stone, nothing too crazy. Go ahead and craft it. Now, what is the point of this God Shine? Well, it kind of adds, like, the point of this mod is to incorporate more of an emphasis on PvE. So what do I mean by that? Give me a sec here. Pretty much what that means is, you know, a lot of arc is based around PvP. And uh, not everyone likes that, you know, some people want to do PvE and like with their tribes and everything. So a big thing that this mod strives to do is get tribes, you know, without necessarily having to fight each other, give them a reason to be tribes and kind of uh, some PvE objectives such as uh, the shrine. So you're supposed to make a sacrifice to the shrine. There we go. Oh god, didn't mean to do that, didn't mean to do that, didn't mean to quite sacrifice yet. But what you do is uh, every tribe kind of, it kind of counts every tribe. So what you want to do is every tribe goes to the shrine every once in a while and is like, hey, you know, let's not piss off the gods, let's uh, let's sacrifice something to them. So then all you got to do is offer them, I, I believe it's meat that you offer, I don't really have any on hand. Uh, I could like murder one of my own compies, which is probably what I'll do because I'm lazy, so compy, get over here, I need some meat. Get over here, funny, you almost dead? It's gonna take a couple hits here. Alright, there we go. Yeah, sorry. Popeye killed the compi. Give me some of that. Oh god, there we go. Got 18 raw meat. You know, to completely ignore the fact I just murdered one of my own babies. Uh, anyways, you go into here and you make an offering to the dragon god. We had some raw meat on us beforehand, actually. So, uh, for example, let's just say, alright, tribe, you know, we gotta get some raw meat going. We, we haven't offered in a while. So, you go ahead, you sacrifice, and once you look back into there, it is not gone. Okay, that's weird. I thought it would be gone. Well, uh, sacrifice? Huh. That's weird. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but you do have to sacrifice stuff to the god. Uh, the mod isn't also 100% functional right now because the dragon god himself doesn't quite spawn in yet. It is still a work in progress and everything. But I believe that's how it's supposed to work is that you're supposed to offer sacrifices to the shrine. And then, you know, if the tribe slacken, what's supposed to happen is that they're supposed to incur the wrath of the dragon god, and you might be thinking to yourself, Star, okay, hold up, actually, first things first, I'm putting on fucking, I'm putting on everything here to ensure I don't die, let's see, uh, okay, god mode on, just making sure that I don't die, okay, okay, so this is, this is gonna inflict some pain, probably, okay, so, currently only admins can summon in the dragon god, and uh, that means that this mod currently, you know, the way it's supposed to be played isn't quite existent but you know for example you could admins could like summon it in to have like cool server events going on and all that stuff and uh that type of stuff but eventually it will happen where it does you know whatever tribe isn't sacrificing enough it can incur the wrath of the dragon guy you might be thinking there's a star you're over you're over hyping this no way it's that that insane oh oh really oh really it's not that insane uh yeah i i don't, I don't know dude that looks you, you know that, 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 that. That, that, that looks pretty fucking insane to me. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but holy shit. That is the only way I can describe that. <laughs> so, if you piss that thing off, uh, if you don't sacrifice enough to dragon gods, this is what you're gonna end up summoning. And this thing does look a lot sexier on higher res too. I'm on like medium settings or whatever. Just a little bit of a heads up there. Oh my god, set time of day 0900. Oh no, didn't mean to do 0900. Hmm. Uh, zero? Oh god, I messed up, didn't I? I messed up a lot. 9,000? Uh, I forgot how to do morning. Is it 90,000 maybe? No, nope. I'm just gonna stop doing this because I'm really stupid, but... Uh, okay, so it's nighttime. I'm dumb. I don't know how to set the... Oh, oh, I forget how... That's, that's how you do it. I just remembered. Jesus, I'm stupid. You actually have to do... I think it's like that. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm just stupid. Uh, so... 
This is the Dragon God. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, ah, oh, it's probably just all hype, you know, if you if you hit it. Nothing that bad's gonna happen. Oh, really? Look at that crackhead go around and... Look, look at what he's doing! Look at what he's doing! Oh, God. Oh, my God. He just... Oh, oh, I'm sorry, God. Oh! Yeah, see, if I didn't have God mode and everything on right now, I'd be pretty dead. So, you know, let's shoot him a little bit. Holy shit! Oh! Oh, my God. He would have, like, body slammed us there. Holy shit. He's destroying everything. He destroyed his own shrine. Seriously, he's a savage. Look at what he does. This is why you do not incur the wrath of the dragon god. So, you know, since you guys obviously... Is he body slamming us again? He might be. Okay, there we go. Come on. I just gotta... Stand still, dragon god. Stop trying to kill me. Where... Where'd he go? Oh! Yeah, so... There we go. Did we tame him? I want to show you guys. The dragon god has been tamed. So you get this... Okay, yeah, yeah you chill. Chill, chill. Hey, fucking dragon god. Get get your ass back here. Get, there you go. Chill. Chill. Stop moving. Stop moving. Why won't you stop moving? He's just like wandering about now. Okay, you know what? You do you. I'm gonna put the time of day to the day it should be. There you go. Dragon god. Stop. Where, where are you going? He's going into the sea. Dragon god. Hello? Hello? Dragon god, that's not... Okay, well, I guess that dragon god just kind of... He kind of went off and did his own thing. Uh, I'll summon I'll summon up another one then. Because uh, that one seemingly wants nothing to do with us. And I'll tame this one up while he's still standing still. Which should be a little bit easier. There we go. He's not moving. Let's hop onto him and show you just how insane the Dragon God can be. I think you guys are going to like its insanity. This thing. Look at that. A Stormtrooper riding the Dragon God. But I think uh, first things first. Let's do R dot. Uh... Bloom quality zero. Here's some bloom quality there. And uh, I was going to potentially go to light shafts too, but... Oh, baby. This thing is insane. Now I'll just take a little quick peek at its stats and see what that can do. Those are my stats. I know, so insane. No. Look at his stats. So, currently the Drago God at level zero. Not leveled up or anything. 60,000 health. Okay. Nothing too insane, you might think to yourself. 700 stamina. 6,000 food. 4,600 weight, that's actually quite a bit. 144% melee damage and 100% movement speed. Well, oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, so, uh, he's got mad hops. He's like Michael fucking Jordan here. Look at that. So this is me pressing space. I guess the dragon god doesn't really fly. I don't, like, see wings on him. But uh, if you press space, dude's got mad hops. Maybe if, like, keep pressing space, you can... No. But he does, like, have some fire go up in the air, which is kind of cool. Uh, so he's got a couple of moves. If you press C... That does the body slam. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That was insane. Let's go and test it out on some innocent turtles, shall we? Let's try out to the body slam and see what this does. So C does that. Oh my god. Alright, so that's the body slam. Uh, if we press space a little bit here, will this do any damage? Will this potentially kill the Parasaur? No, I don't know. Well, if we left click, we killed a couple of things pretty easy there. So as you can see, left click is, if you can see, it's a quick little, uh, I don't even know what kind of attack that is. It, like, spreads Cheeto dust everywhere, but it kind of, like, maybe a little bit of a fire breath. Uh, if you right-click, he does his blue flame, which is freaking insane. This guy's just, he's, in, he's insane. So if we put up his health, it goes up by not too much. So, I mean, it's still pretty insane, but I don't know. Oh, we got an Argentavis. Look at how cute that is. Let's breathe fire on it. Yeah, it's dead. It's dead. If we can harvest with it, as you can see... One swipe, got about 200 raw meats. Uh, I can run over, like, the entirety of this forest. Look at that. If we press C, that body, that is actually a really cool move there. I just want to see if potentially that does any damage. Oh, what if, out of curiosity, we jump and then press C in midair? I don't know. Hmm. Pressing space doesn't do anything. So I'm just trying to figure out all the controls for this guy, and I'm guessing that's, uh, that's about all I can figure out there. Well, I think he's supposed to have some more moves and whatnot. Anyways, though, he's absolutely insane. I think you guys will agree with me when I say that because, uh, hello, this guy is just nutty. He's absolutely nutty. He could probably destroy a Gigantosaurus one-on-one -on -one pretty easily. Well, I don't know about pretty easily, but he is. I mean, just look at that glorious bastard. It's insane. Like, this should not be, this should not exist, man. It should not, just not fair <laughs> what this thing can do to other people. Jesus Christ, just look at it. That's so insane, and there is another part of the mod, actually, that I'll show you guys here in a second, but... Look at that. The dragon... Dr not dragon. The dragon god. 
absolutely insane. And I mean, I just, you know, like the skin is so well done for him. Everything about it is just awesome. Look at that. I love that thing so much. And I can't wait to see where this mod goes, and especially if they ever do make the Dragon God himself actually tameable. Because as you saw, I did force tame him. And uh, it, that was still really fun, though. Link will be uh, in the description as well for the mod if you want to check it out. <clears throat> Mess around with it in single player. Potentially ride on the Dragon God yourself, or even incorporate it into your server. And as an admin, have some server events with the Dragon God. Good luck, have fun killing that thing. And uh, there is another thing, though, to my knowledge, so hold up, you would have to give me a second here. Sorry about that, there is another feature to the game. I don't know how to summon it in? Actually, no, I think I do have the command here. So, there's a new feature, and that's Tameable Wild Godlings. And you might be thinking, what are godlings? They're kind of like miniature dragon gods. Uh, there is actually a way to incorporate it where if there is uh, the shrine, if there's a shrine placed on the map, then there's a chance that the godling will spawn somewhere. And uh, there are two versions of the godlings. I will be summoning both of them here for you in a second. I just got to figure out what are they called. They're called... Oh, God. Did my game just... Oh, no. You best not have froze. Uh, it should be the same thing here. So there are two. You got the Drago godling, which we will be summoning here in a second. There's the godling. A little bit weaker, as you can see. Actually, it looks to be about the same as the Drago God. So, I don't know. I think they have, like, the same skin, but for the most part, it is, uh... It's a little bit weaker. I will check that claim by force taming it. Yeah, so that's called the Godling versus the God. I'm guessing this guy's his stats. Uh, for some reason, he has more health, so that's weird. That's probably, like, a glitch, but all his other stats are, as you can see, a lot lower. And then if we can summon the other one, which I believe is called the Blackheart Godling... Blackheart Godling, yes. Now, there's going to be a difference between these two. One is better at health and stamina, while the other... Oh, that one's got a cool-ass skin to his ass. Oh, hello, he's purple. There you go, that's the Blackheart Godling, which honestly, hoo 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 that kind of looks badass. If we look at his inventory, uh, if it will let us do that. There we go. As you can see, 150,000 health and 91% melee damage. So, how it w goes here is the Drago, the Drago Godling, has higher damage and speed, but this guy's supposed to have higher health and stamina. I think, however, it's a little bit skewed because he's level 67 and he's a 3, but uh, those are the two Godlings. So, let's go ahead, let's get everyone together for a family picture here. Don't you think that'd be awesome? You know, because one's fucking purple. As you can see, they are definitely smaller than uh, Papa over here, but still, you know, these guys, they can spawn while the Dragon Shrine is uh is enabled i think there's a server command you have to enable uh that should be in the description of the mod though i'm just messing around by spawning them all in and whatnot but you should be able to have them actually spawn in by uh uh what is it by enabling a couple things in the server but for now let's get let's get the whole family together for a little family picture shall we oh look at these guys look at them so adorable not gonna lie though that that purple one is freaking i think he's the most badass so let's go ahead and get everyone together Let's hop on this bad boy, and, uh, the whole family, the whole family of dragon gods, Jesus Christ, look at that, look at that. Actually, no, I wanna, you know, let's, let's make this look extra badass, head, head in the sky, breathing up in the air, oh my god. It is so epic. Uh, I think the godlings have the same moves, though, so, like, if we get on the godling, right-click. He's got purple flame, left-click. He does a little swipe with his hand. Sometimes he does that little move. We killed the Trillobite on accident. Sorry, Trillo. C is the little body slam. It's all the same moves, you know, in the end. But, uh, nonetheless, very awesome mod, and, uh, taming up some of these godlings in the wild, that would be insane, but it's just so well done, because that skin is absolutely badass, and it's just, like, Fear inducing to see that shit. Like, look at that. I'm just a measly little stormtrooper, and I got. What if I had to go up against those? I'd cry. I'd cry. That'd be awful. That would seriously be awful. But uh, that's about it, content wise, for the mod, I think. Hopefully, I'm not forgetting something. If I am, I'd, I might revisit the mod, or once they update it. But I think that's it. You got to the god, the godlings, and then the shrine. I think I explained pretty well how everything works. Uh, if I didn't, let me know. And I'll try and explain it maybe again in a video, or you can always check out the mod, and hopefully that will explain it in a good way. But uh, at the very least, I think I did the dragon gods and the godlings some justice in showing these bastards off, because these things are epic. 
But other than that, that is going to go ahead and do it for me for this mod episode, mod showcase. As always, let me know if you guys uh, any suggestions you might want for future mods and whatnot. I'm currently trying to do this series two to three times a week and uh, have at least one arc video a day, including this. So it's kind of a good way of having daily arc. Sorry about the little interruption there, uh, little technical difficulties, but it's just an awesome way of having daily arc because it means, you know, I get to mess around with some mods, get to mix things up, get to showcase some mods to you guys and whatnot. And really just awesome i love it hope you guys love it as well but other than that that's going to go ahead and do it for stormtrooper version of me so uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching the video as always and hopefully i'll see you next one